So I want to show you on this video. Let me lower the volume of the game. <laughs> this is this game is hilarious, man. High on life. Must play. Absolutely amazing game. So what I want to show you on this video is that with reshade, I am fixing the near black darkness that we get with black from insertion with OLED Motion Pro High, but that does not wash out the picture. So I'm going to turn on and off the preset that I am using, the settings that I share with you. So I, this is off, on, off, on. So you see, the near black is perfectly visible without the preset, okay? But when I use the preset, it becomes brighter. And that's exactly what we need when we use OLED Motion Pro High. But what I want to show you with high quality, because I am recording from the game, so this is not my camera pointing to the TV. What I want to show you is that that does not wash out the picture. It does not wash out the colors. And that is something very, very good because right now I am playing around with native HDR. So when we have black level rays on the game, what I am going to do, let me get this out of the way. So you see before, after, before, after. So when we get the black level rays on the native HDR games, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower the black level on the TV using fine-tuned dark areas or a screen brightness 46 when the games are you know, limited with this problem, this issue that we have with native HDR. But then I am going to use this reshade preset to get the near black visibility and that is not going to wash out the picture, which is fantastic. So let's take a look at it. Before, after. Before, after. So you see, the colors, they do not get washed out. Before, after. Before, after. So usually, washed out colors are an indicative of black level rays. Okay? But in this case, I am not raising the black level. I am just increasing the visibility near black. It is not the same before, after, before, after. So this is fantastic for all Motion Pro High because you can use even without any tricks on the service menu, without nothing. You can just use SDR, use all Motion Pro High. Of course, you need to at least unlock the peak brightness high on SDR because you know otherwise the TV is just too dim on SDR even without black from insertion in my opinion it's just too dim so but then you don't have to even access the service menu you just need to get that visibility near black to use all motion pro and you're all set and the picture looks fantastic before after so let's go to a place where it is darker uh, so to show you the before and after so what I was saying is that usually when we see washed out colors 99% of the time that's black level rays on the games and we fix that by lowering that fine tuned dark areas or screen brightness uh, but when we do that we crush uh, some of the near black detail and that is um, expected yeah we need to crush it because otherwise the picture looks terrible before after before after so what I want to do with native HDR now, moving forward, and this this only works on the PC. Um, this is what I have, uh, and on the console you cannot have this kind of you know mods and reshade and all that. So it's it's only gonna work if you are on PC. But this is just a detail. You see, before after. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the HDR by lowering the black level but then I am going to get that near black detail back using reshade so in that way I get the 
that fantastic contrast on the image that we get with HDR but I'm not crushing near black details and by getting the near black detail back I am not going to wash out the picture look at it before after so in this case the before there's nothing wrong with it okay you're watching this video on SDR it looks perfect there's no issue whatsoever the reason why I, I want this near black to be brighter is because black from insertion I want this near black test pattern to be more visible for OLED Motion Pro High because when you use OLED Motion Pro High you are not crushing blacks but the near black becomes too dark too dark and especially when we're trying to push brightness for the rest of the picture it becomes very difficult to see near black when you have uh, then next to each other so you have darkness and brightness next to each other it becomes more difficult to see that of course we are reducing a little bit the contrast of the of the image and we need to do that to use OLED Motion Pro High but you know the OLED have perfect contrast anyways it's still gonna look fantastic before after this looks very 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 good man I'm very happy with it so let me show you the preset I hope you can see this reshade on the recording. I haven't, I haven't checked this on the recording. Um, oh, I have my mouse too far away. So let me see if I can show you uh, the preset I am using. It's called PROD8003 Curved Levels. So let me see if I can move my mouse over here. So the only thing that I am doing is I am adjusting the toe position X and the toe position Y. Let me move this out of the way because this is where my face is. And by the way, I'm having some issue with my mouse. I need to buy a new mouse. This is like the mouse is failing. It just stops working for a moment and then it comes back. So it's like something is wrong with this mouse. But it is uh, snowing right now, so I, I don't, I don't want to go out <laughs> just to buy a new mouse. Oh, I have to do it. So let me get this out of the way. Move this out of the way. The mouse is not working. Okay, it's now back working again. This is terrible. Man. <laughs> so the only thing I am doing on this preset. Okay, finally, what I am doing is I am adjusting the toe position X and the toe position Y let me show you in this with this preset let me show you what's going on here if the mouse actually allows me <laughs> this is terrible the mouse is not even working so what I'm doing here is I am not crushing blacks you see the black point is in zero I'm not changing that black point uh, setting I am just making the near black brighter and I'm going to show you a graph well, no, actually that graph is going to be on the bottom left corner of the screen. That's where my face is, so you're not going to see it. But, you know, just to describe it to you, basically. And this mouse is not working anyway to show you what's going on. So the setting is toe position X 0 0.03, toe position Y 0 0.05. That's what I'm using. So basically, what is happening, just to describe it to you, is you see before after is there is a graph that looks like uh, PQ of course this is SDR it's not PQ but it is a diagonal line okay and by adjusting this toe position X and toe position Y I am increasing it like this so the reference line is a diagonal and I am doing this so what I am doing by adjusting those two values is I am doing this as close to black as possible so I want to come out of black more aggressively but I am not affecting the mid-tones almost nothing I am affecting the mid-tones just a little bit and that is beneficial for black from insertion anyway so it's gonna do this it looks fantastic and yeah the best the greatest benefit is that it is not washing out the picture before after this is fantastic so let me know if you have the chance 
to give this preset a try especially for OLED Motion Pro High and you don't even have to access the service menu but I, man I can I can definitely recommend for black frame insertion I can definitely recommend you to go ahead turn off all the dimming crap and try to push all the brightness because black frame insertion is, is gonna be less likely to burn in anyway because most of the screen is black so I don't see I don't see a risk in doing this of course do it at your own risk you're potentially voiding the warranty and you are definitely you know using the TV to its maximum uh, potential its maximum limit and a limit that LG doesn't want you to use because they are locking you out of the trying to lock you out of the service menu with the upcoming G3 and C3 which there are some people that already figured out how to access the service menu and I will make sure I tell you how you can access the service menu on the C3 and G3 because in my opinion that is just a shenanigan from LG that I absolutely I do not support this is just crap that they did that it's my TV I'm paying two thousand dollars I want to access the service menu and change whatever I want why are you trying to lock me out of the service menu why I do not agree with that so I will definitely figure it out how to access the service menu and I will make a video and explain you how it's very easy it's just probably use the color control app you get that first page and then you just have to use a code that's it the code is going to get leaked it's gonna get leaked so far there are some TV calibrators that know that and for some reason they think that let's respect the LG engineers and not leak the code what respect are you talking about I paid two three thousand dollars for my TV I want to access the service menu turn off TPC and GSR I don't care that they remedy a little bit the situation with TPC with that dimming I still want to turn it off okay and I want to have access to the service menu full access to all the options to all the capabilities that my TV has and I want to do it on my own risk I pay my money I completely disagree with that idea of respecting LG engineers what kind of nonsense is that I paid a lot of money for my TV I don't care what is what respect are you talking about that's a disrespect from LG to try to lock me out of the service menu I would not purchase a TV just because of that but I know it can be done and I will definitely tell you how to do that but yeah my point with this video reshade works very well to fix that near black visibility to use OLED Motion Pro High okay and I can definitely suggest you strongly to try the OLED Motion Pro High on the LG C1 and use module HDR on on the service menu because that's going to give you the highest full screen brightness to use OLED Motion Pro High and then you can use that open the games on SDR so that module HDR on on the service menu is only going to give you that full screen brightness power on SDR okay for HDR is actually going to reduce the brightness of the TV and you don't want to use it for HDR okay so my recommendation would be for black frame insertion only okay I would not recommend you to use that on SDR okay especially when we play these games they are full of hoods all the time if you play the same game again and again uh, that is going out of specs that's not what LG would allow but for black frame insertion I am confident in telling you that the burning risk is greatly reduced because the pixels are turning off okay so I can definitely suggest you to go ahead turn on module HDR on on the service menu use black frame insertion all motion pro high and then use reshade to fix that near black and the results are spectacular man I absolutely love to use black from insertion for gaming so this is probably the way I'm going to be playing most of the games this just looks phenomenal absolutely amazing 
and man if you, if you want the colors to you know to just pop more because when you use that high level of brightness you are washing out the colors a little bit then what you can do is you can use native color gamut and lower the saturation to 50 use warm 50 so the white balance and warm 50 color gamut native saturation so color depth 55 and then use gamma 2.2 but you know with this reshade you can even use BT 1886 and then if you're gonna use BT 1886 with all motion pro high then use um, you know just color gamut auto detect uh, color depth 55 warm 50 so you know change the settings see which one you prefer uh, this looks absolutely amazing really 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 fantastic picture for black from insertion so yeah let me know your thoughts and opinions if you have any questions and also this is the first video that I do testing my new microphone so let me know how you like the quality of the sound I am blown away <laughs> with the quality of the sound it is absolutely amazing but I still need to learn of course how to get the best out of it uh, but yeah let me know how you like it and if you have any questions